some of your self-check questions. I just picked some random ones that came up for me. Remember that they're always going to be different. So you're going to have some that are similar to this, but not exact. But when you're simplifying a square root, you want to look at this number here called the index number. And this tells us what we're trying to break everything down as. So I want to break down everything individually, the numbers. I want to break down 486 into factors. I want to break down x to the power of 24 into factors. And I want to break down y to the 16th into factors. So I'm going to start with 486. And I just want to factor this. I want to see what makes up 486. So when you're doing this, use a calculator. I like to use the Desmos Scientific one. So I'm going to just see what 486 breaks down as. I know it's an even number, so I'm going to divide it by 2. So 486 is 243 times 2. 2 times 243 makes up 486. And then I'm going to keep going. 2 is prime, but 243, I want to see what that breaks down to. So 243 is an odd number. So I'm not going to divide it by 2. I'm going to try 3, oh, which is 81. So 243 is 3 times 81. And here I can break down 81 as 9 times 9, which is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, right? So if I want to rewrite this over here, I have negative, and then I have a fourth root. But instead of 486, I have 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. If I multiply all this out, I'm going to get 486. And then I still have x to the 24th and y to the 16th. And we'll come back to that in a minute. But for now, I want to focus on what I have here. So my index is 4. That means I need 4 of the same thing to come out here. OK, this is really 3 to the 4th. Notice how the index number and the power of are the same. So that means when I bring this out, I have 4, cube root of 4, of 3 to the 4th. So these actually cancel, and I'm just left with 3. So I have negative, the 3 comes out, 4 through, and I have 2 times 3 left in here. They're stuck inside. They didn't have 4 of a kind. So 6, and then x to the 24th, and y to the 16th. So as I'm looking over here at my choices, that's where this negative 3 is coming from. So remember, when you're solving a multiple choice, use process of elimination. It's not that one. And this is a positive 3. Here I have a negative 3. So I'm going to see if anything changes, and we'll see what's left. OK, so now we want to break down x to the 24th. This is really x times x times x times x, times x, times x, 24 times, a lot. So I'm going to use my exponent properties here, 
and I know I'm gonna have x to the fourth. X to the fourth. X to the fourth. I chose four because of this number, right? And I'm gonna have that x to the fourth six times because these have to multiply to equal 24. So I'm almost there. I have five, six. So same thing as kind of we did up here. I'm gonna take the fourth root of each of these. And when that happens, my fours cancel each other out and I'm just left with six. So I actually have one, two, three, four, five, six X's left over. That's what comes here, these X. Six times comes out. So I have negative three, X to the sixth power, and then still left inside the square root is Y to the 16th this part. So same thing, when I break apart y to the 16th, that means I have 16 y's. But I want to break them into fours because of my index number here that I forgot to write. <laughs> so I have y to the fourth. I need 16 here, so I'm gonna need four times because these multiply to get that number. That's one of our exponent properties. So if I break down y to the 16th, I really have y to the fourth, y to the fourth, y to the fourth, y to the fourth. I have 16. So when I take the fourth root of all of those, I'm left with four y's, which is equal to y to the four. So that comes out here. So I have negative three x to the sixth, y to the four, and then I still have my root, I forgot to write the six down here, with the six inside of it. That two and the three in the beginning are still stuck inside the, the root. So let's see. Negative three, x to the six, y to the fourth, four to the six. So it would be this one. 